Here's how to import a MIDI file in Logic Pro for iPad. First of all, start a new project and tap on the Tracks option. Now just tap on Audio and create an audio track. We won't really need it, but we just want this blank project to import our MIDI file into. Now you need a MIDI file to import. I've jumped into Safari, gone to midis101.com and found this canyon.mid, one of my favorite MIDI files of all time. Where are my Windows nerds at? Now we're going to hit the Download button here in Safari, hit the Download again, and this is going to download this MIDI file. Now they're pretty small, so it's already done. We can tap on there, and there you can see it's been downloaded into my Downloads folder. Now I'm going to swipe up from the bottom and go to my Files app. Find this in my downloads. So come down here to my favorites and my downloads. There it is at canyon.mid. Now, what I need to do to bring this over into Logic Pro is to actually go into a multi-view mode here. So tap on these three dots at the top and go into slide over. This is going to put your files off to the side, then tap back into Logic Pro. And now you can see we can access both Logic and the files at the same time. To import the file, simply tap and hold in the files app, drag over into Logic Pro and release. And it'll ask you this, do you want to import the tempo information? So if you want to make sure the tempo is going to match, just say import tempo. Otherwise, you can say no. And this is where the magic happens. It's going to interpret that MIDI file and attach a different track to each one of the MIDI tracks that it brings in. We're done with files for now, so we can tap on the three dots and hit close. And now we can inspect what Logic Pro has done. As you can see here, it's created a track and it'll do this for however many tracks there are in your original file. If it's just a simple drum loop or something, it'll put it on one track. The beauty of this is we can play it, but we can also change the instruments. Let's just play it as it stands now so that we can see what we're dealing with. So it has imported, it's tried its best to select instruments, but I don't like some of these. I don't think these guitars really match, but what we can do is actually use different instruments. So let's show you how to do that now. In the bottom left, tap on the browser button there and then go back here to instrument patches. We're gonna open instrument patches and from here, you can use any of these instrument patches on any of these tracks. So for instance, I don't like this hard rock guitar. I think we need more of a synth sound. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna tap on synth to select that one and let's just find a synth that might work a little bit better for this. What about these 80s wave bells? We'll tap on the preview button. That sounds pretty cool. If we solo this track, we'll bring these 80s wave bells over by tapping and holding and dragging these on over, just like so. And now you can see that that's changed these up. Let's take a listen in solo at this sound now. Very cool, much more like the original version. So we can do that with any of these other tracks. Let's just change a couple more and then see what this is gonna sound like. I'm going to grab this other guitar track and this time I want this bell string pad. So I'm gonna drag this one, drop it on there. And I think this is gonna sound an awful lot better. Let's jump a little bit further into the song and take a listen. <laughs> much better and of course because these are MIDI tracks all we need to do to edit them is tap on there and go into our edit option or of course just go down to the editor button down below and you can edit the velocity you can edit the notes you can edit the instrument you can do everything that you can with MIDI you can also mix you can use plugins you can adjust volumes you can do everything that you can do with any other project here in Logic Pro now before we finish up a question that many of you may have is can we export MIDI or send MIDI out and unfortunately as a version 1.0 of Logic Pro, we can't. So while you can import a MIDI file, you can only export as an audio file. If you'd like to learn more about Logic Pro, check out the videos there and there and down in the description, and I'll see you next time.